Hi everybody, so now it's back here again with the next part of the uh, Tomcat build. Uh, in this part we're going to be uh, looking at putting some of the parts together uh, and then moving on to the uh, painting and weathering and hopefully then we'll get to the final reveal. So this kit, it's Tamiya, okay, it goes together supremely well and you can just see me there, I'm just using some of the thick uh, resin type glue to just fix it in the place in, in the tabs and then I'm using the uh, Tamiya Extra Thin just to run it around all the joins and to get it in there and you can see it just goes to go really really nice I'm just doing the same on the other side uh, and then you can see me I'll start uh, working around the, the seam line with the Extra Thin just to get it all joined together And in no time we're all, we're all together, as you can see, uh, the main fuselage is together, everything's dried. Uh, again, there's no point in me showing you any of this, because it, it's just Tamiya, there was no fit issues for me to go over, nothing for me to uh, try and put right or anything like that, it just went together, okay? Uh, if you get this kit, you're going to really, really enjoy it, because I did. Now we're moving on to the painting. <laughs> And here I am just painting the tail fins. Now they're both black, but I never paint a solid black. I, you know, a different shades of black. I know you say, well, they're in different shades of black, but so this is the rubber black. So it's a slightly grayer type black. And I'm just putting it on nice and gently after I've painted the, the tips of the um, horizontal stabilizers and the ventral fins again. I'm just painting them uh, with the same colour. So once I've done this, I can then look at start uh, weathering the actual uh, horizontal stabilisers themselves. Once that's all done, uh, I'll then use some NATO black and I'm going to be basically lightening up parts of the panel uh, doing streaks and all that sort of stuff stuff basically this is where you I'm starting my weathering now um, if I was doing the old aircraft black this is exactly what I would do on the panel lines and you can see it on there uh, that you know it's going to be slightly worn um, lighter in the center streaks and all that sort of stuff it's just to add a, a little bit of interest which is on a quite a black uh, canvas so to speak. And there you can see the finished uh, tail fin. I've also done the spine of the actual aircraft. I'm going to mask this up now. Okay, so that'll all help uh, with the the weathering. And then I'm moving on to actually adding some of the markings. Now I couldn't add all the markings because obviously some cutters they don't cut that small. But you can just see here I am taking the navy stencil off. Uh, I've already put a bit uh, of the masking on there. 
uh, already. Now, uh, the way I do it, I put a bit of tape over the top of said mast, peel that up, put it onto the aircraft, and then if you watch, peel that back, that's left the Navy uh, lettering all there ready to be painted over. And that's how I do it with all my masks that I use. Uh, it's how I apply them all, to get them all straight, all in line and all that sort of stuff. So doing it that way, I find it just so much easier than trying to do individual ones. Now, some more um, pre-shading. So as you can see, the aircraft is black, but not, you know, totally black. And I'm pouring a lighter coat. Uh, this could be white, this could be a light gray, a cream, whatever you want in those panel lines to give me the variation I require with this aircraft. You know, it's quite a big aircraft with really big flat surfaces. So hopefully after all the paint's been applied or the top coats and what have you, you'll be able to see the different variations and it adds a little bit of interest. And there it is all done. Uh, so you just see I've just done a marbling effect all over. And next we're going to be doing a blue marbling over certain parts of it. And again, this is to break up this marbling that's already on there and to give me you know a better variation in that pre-coat, you know, the pre-shading that I'm doing on the actual aircraft, uh, which hopefully will show through the the solid parts of the, the paint itself. Once that's done, it's time to actually paint the uh, base color. So we're starting on the belly, and all I do is uh, just apply really thin layers of paint over that pre-shading uh, there, just building it up. So I don't cover it all up, but I do cover some of it up. I uh, was having problems with my airbrush there, so I had to stop and start again. But you can see how it's just going on and I'm building up the layers. Not heavy, but nice, soft, and yeah, just going from there really. And once done, you'll end up with something like that, okay? Lots of modulation over there. Uh, before we then move on to doing exactly the same for the forward fuselage. So this ha this aircraft has a free tone colour uh, and I'm doing exactly the same as what I did on the, on the belly. A lighter coat, then a blue coat and then the base coat. Just to give me that different uh, variation in colours over the actual aircraft. Uh, and once that's done, I'll do exactly the same on the uh, the top side of the aircraft. So again, I then move on to doing the blue coat on this. Uh, again, filling out the, all those bits and pieces uh, like what I did before, central panel lines uh, and what have you, just to build it all up and build up uh, different tones within the paint.
then over that, we do the top coat. So again, nice thin coats over the top of it, just filling in where I need to, and then just going from there. And once that's done, again, we move on to doing the lighter coats, as you can see there, onto the blue coats. And then from the blue coat, we'll be going on to the actual main camouflage color, color for up there, okay? And that's all it is, exactly the same process all the way through uh, until the aircraft is all painted. you can see all painted uh, now uh, with a top coat we all the masking uh, removed uh, the leading edges of the wings all painted the silver uh, and yeah I think it's turned out rather nice and there's the the sharp mouth on the front again that's a mask that I, I applied So now I'm going to start with the weathering and starting by just painting a lighter coat on some of the panel lines because you will see this uh, like bleaching on some of the panel lines all over the aircraft. Uh, where, and I'm just doing it where I, where I want, want, just randomly uh, dotting it about uh, and what have you. So you can just see me there and I will build this up really, really slowly. Not too heavy, not too uniform just really really randomly until I get it the way I want it. So apologies I've lost a bit where I was applying this uh, panel line wash but it's just a, a MIG uh, dark wash 
it uh, uh, just goes into all seam lines and now you can just see me removing it. The aircraft has had a gloss coat for them need then to put the decals on and then a gloss coat on top of that before then I've put this uh, wash on and as you can see I'm just trying to remove it. I've got rid of most of it. I don't want too much on there so what I normally do is onto a cotton swab and then onto the kitchen towel just to wipe it all off and try and wipe it all off in the direction of, of travel of, of air okay so that will give you a little bit of uh, muck. Talking of muck, start to add some of the uh, dirty deposits that are all over the aircraft. And all I'm doing this is just an, an oil uh, oil paint, uh, starts its filth in this instance, with a little bit of uh, thinner in, and then just dabbing it all over the place. Uh, with different brushes, just blending it in until I get the, the look I'm after. Bear in mind this aircraft could get absolutely filthy and I've got plenty of photos of this, not this aircraft itself, but of the aircraft in general and some of them are absolutely filthy and I mean filthy. Uh, as you can see I've just put some thinner in there, okay, uh, that's just a different uh, oil paint. And now I'm going to add this to it and again I'm just going to blend it all in to give me some filth all over the place. And then you can see the, the look I'm going after, you see how it's all filthy all over. Okay. And again this is what the actual aircraft really did get like and you know it's what it really looked like. Now I'm going to add some more weather into the airbags behind uh, the, the wings and all I'm just using is watercolour pencils and then blending them in uh, as best I can to give the, uh, the indication that you know the airbags have been scratched and all that sort of stuff. She is all finished. Uh, a really enjoyable build. Uh, Tamiya, so it's straightforward. So this was just a practice on doing some different weathering techniques, which then I can take into my next build and uh, maybe do something even filthier. Anyway, that's it for now, fellas. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye for now.